Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to share the results of a paper we are really excited about titled Infant Mental Health Home Visiting Mitigates Impact of Maternal Adverse Childhood Experiences on Toddler Language Competence, a Randomized Control Trial. I want to acknowledge and thank my co-authors listed here for their incredible expertise and assistance on this manuscript. To start with some background, children whose parents experience childhood adversity are more likely to exhibit internalizing and externalizing problems across childhood. Parental adversity and parental experiences of trauma may reduce parenting capacity as evidenced by higher rates of avoidance, withdrawal, hostility, and intrusiveness in parent-child interactions, higher levels of parenting stress, increased parental mental health challenges, and decreased responsivity and sensitivity. This reduced parenting capacity may in turn negatively impact child's social emotional development in the next generation. Few studies have examined how parental history of adversity during childhood may negatively impact other aspects of child development, including child language. Parenting behavior may be a mechanism linking parental adversity and subsequent child language development and is therefore a target for intervention. For the present study, it was hypothesized that mother's baseline reports of childhood adversity would predict worse toddler language competence one year later. Additionally, it was expected that our relationally based psychotherapeutic intervention, infant mental health home visiting, would mitigate the association between parent adversity and toddler language competence. Specifically, those who received infant mental health home visiting were not expected to demonstrate the same association between maternal childhood adversity and toddler language as those who were assigned to the control condition. Eligible participants were enrolled into the randomized controlled trial and participated in five waves of data collection. Some demographic information can be seen on this slide. Participants were 62 mother infant toddler dyads who engaged in five waves of data collection. For this study, the first and fifth waves of data collection were used. Overall, retention rates were high. 90% of participants completed the 12 month visit and there were no significant demographic differences between those who remained in the study and those who did not. For this study, the measures we utilized include the Adverse Childhood Experiences or ACEs questionnaire to assess maternal history of childhood adversity. We also utilized the preschool language scale screening test to assess toddler language at the 12 month data collection visit. Our treatment variable was assigned treatment condition to either receive infant mental health home visiting or the control group received a list of community resources. Our hypothesis that mother's baseline reports of childhood adversity would predict worse toddler language competence was supported. Higher maternal ACE score was associated with lower toddler language score. In support of our second hypothesis, this association between maternal adversity and toddler language problems was moderated by treatment, indicating that for those in treatment, there was no association between maternal ACE score and worse child language. In this figure, the blue line represents families in the control condition who did not receive infant mental health home visiting. There we see the association between higher maternal ACE score and lower toddler language score is robust. The red line represents those in the treatment condition, indicating that participation in infant mental health home visiting mitigated the negative impact of maternal ACEs on toddler language. So to summarize, this is one of the first studies to establish a link between maternal ACE score and child language development in the next generation. Importantly, we've identified that infant mental health home visiting may buffer the negative impact of adversity across generations. And our primary takeaway point is that parental adversity can impact development across generations, but interventions can mitigate this negative effect. Infant mental health home visiting and other relational interventions should be made available to those at risk. And with that, I will say thank you to uh, my collaborators and co-authors and the participants who participated in this study. And if you have any questions, feel free uh, to reach out to me or to contact us at zero to thrive.org. Thank you.